Hello everybody, my name is Nick Jones, I'm the Global Application Director at LECO for Separation of Science and I'm really happy today to be able to tell you about some key applications where the BTX excels. The BTX is really adding value and enhancing applications in all the key fields and in all key markets. Let's have a look at an example in the aroma, flavour and fragrance area. And here the BTX is providing a really good workflow to characterise and compare herbs, in this case thyme, that are obtained from different geographical origins. It's a full workflow solution with automated SPME sample introduction. Um, in this case using the Pegasus BTX in 1D um, and also using Chromatoff Sync software. So non-target screening ability and works really well due to the high data quality generated by the BTX. Um, multiple data points, unskewed mass spectra and so on as you know and the deconvolution works really well because of the high data quality and isolates trace level components which is enhanced nowadays now with the extra sensitivity of the new product but also isolating trace level components from large um, important aroma species um, and from interferences as well. And with the software, multiple data uh, sets or samples can be compared and analyzed together and then visualized really, really nicely. So this workflow could be really useful um, for scientists and customers working in the food and consumer goods industry, flavor companies and so on, of course, fragrance companies. And it's really important to be able to have a good quality, fast workflow where you can rely on your results for quality control and supply chain management, for process development and R&D, of course. And this would be really useful for universities and academia, so any food and aroma research groups. Let's quickly take a look at how it works. So you can see here two components which are co-eluting, um, but the deconvolution is working really well because the data is collected at uh, very suitable acquisition rates across the full mass range and at full sensitivity all the time. So these um, two species are isolated by deconvolution. The mass spectra is excellent and therefore we receive excellent library matches. And Chromatoff Sync is looking across all the different samples, the different geographical origins and that can be visualized together as well. So the excellent sensitivity that the BTX has can be really useful for this type of analysis as well. And here's a really low level or trace level component, which has a very, very high aroma activity. So it's important to be able to detect that because it could be significant in terms of the overall um, aroma. And here we have great detectability deconvolution is separating it from the background and the interfering noise and we have a great library match as well. The camera flight data is really powerful. It's really detailed and the data quality is great so it can really help you gain insights but we have to be able to do that fast especially when we've got multiple samples to analyze and also a huge number of components within those samples. With Chromatoff Sync we can do that nicely where deconvolution is automated as is statistical alignment and library matching. So the visualization of this data is going to be important and it works well. So you can look across your samples and, and groups with line charts and bar charts. And also you can then look at the library matches. You can zoom into individual components that have um, shown significant differences or similarities that you're interested in. And you can um, work to select or look at other options as well. You can also really easily check out the principal component analysis and look at the separation of your groups and loading plots as well. And then finally, also a really great feature, what about when you have a really large number of analytes, which you will detect with this excellent instrument, especially in complex samples like this, and you need to really take a view quite quickly over which analytes are most significantly different or interesting in one group compared to the others. So the heat map feature is really, really good and allows that to be done really quickly and easily. 
Now let's take a look in the petrochemical and energy sector and an example of characterization of aviation fuel. So synthetic or sometimes referred to as sustainable aviation fuels and comparing those to traditional fuel types. And this is complex analysis, but the solution using the BTX with thermal modulation allows great separation and it allows adherence to regulatory requirements, ASTM norms, etc. So as I said, the juicy time and juicy separation is really important here. And isolation of different classes from each other and from background, resolving co-evolutions and generating really good quality mass spectra. So deconvolution also helps both together really improve identification confidence. And this is a great workflow solution with excellent software tools as well. So with the BTX 4D and the Chromatoff software, it's possible to go through the whole workflow and generate great results. So from data acquisition, automated peak find and live research, applying custom filters to all the classes and identifying other analytes of interest as well. So really relevant in fuel, research and development labs, inspection and quality labs too, and in the growing area of green energy, and fuel research and development. So look at the total ion chromatogram here. This is a synthetic fuel. And critically here, the BTX detector and quad jet thermal modulation is allowing GC by GC to be optimized to really enhance separation. So isolation and then visualization of the classes is possible. So all the different classes separated and then can be visualized by extracted masses very, very nicely. Understanding the differences is really important. So for example, low temperature compared with high temperature, which a trop synthetic process results in different formation and composition of fuel ingredients. So obviously with a high temperature, there's a much higher level of the more branched uh, species, whereas linear paraffins are more pre prevalent in the low temperature. And then blends are made as well. So it's important to be able to have great separation and understand the details of the blends in a certain area. If we're zoomed in, you can see the separation is excellent. So you've got linear and branched paraffins and then the monoaromatic as well. And aromatics are allowed to be added at a certain level too. So what we do and how we visualize separation of those species and understand them is really vital as well. And again, zooming in here to the aromatic area more so, you can see excellent separation amongst multiple species that in one group would co-elute. This also improves the mass spectral quality. So you're separating analytes from one another, but also from the background. And then we get really good library matching. In this case for the Indine, 909 out of 1000, which is excellent. Moving on to environmental analysis, and a hot topic, of course, is PFAS. And many laboratories are trying to expand their knowledge. So here is an example of using the Pegasus BTX in combination with another powerful LECO product, the Pegasus HRT high resolution instrument with its multi-mode ion source to provide simultaneous target and non-target screening with very high quality mass spectral data and then powerful identification. So of course, PFAS are varied. The list of them is almost endless. There's so many combinations of the different functionalities and chain lengths, some examples of a few there. So it's a big challenge. So building up knowledge of the huge variety and numbers of PFAS in the environment is the first thing. And new libraries and analytical methods need to be created. Then prominent PFAS and different environmental sources need to be understood to guide 
the needed regulatory control. And then, of course, the regulatory control methods need to be validated and implemented. This is where we're currently at, I think, in this sector. It's the building up knowledge and understanding area. And for that, it's really important to have a robust, sensitive, non-target approach in order to analyze the huge numbers of samples that require screening. So having an instrument that works really well, and runs robustly, and can do target screening simultaneously with non-target screening is really important. So if we have standards or we have library values already, we want to look at those and detect them and look at trends across different samples and origins. And we want to be able to detect possible candidates of PFAS across multiple samples. So state clean iron source is vital for dirty samples, numerous samples to keep running. And the excellent unskewed full mass range data is important. We can look at everything we see and we can evaluate it. We can rely on it. Fast data acquisition, high sensitivity, wide dynamic range. We've got the best chance of discovering features, identifying things later on because of this robust solution. Great non-target and target screening power. And so what are those unknowns? So BTX brilliant for screening large numbers of samples. And then we start to look at trends and patterns in species where we look at the fragmentation and we believe they're PFAS candidates. But then we need a bit more information. So this is where it's a great laboratory solution, the toolbox, combining the BTX with the Pegasus high resolution product, HRT Plus, and its multi-mode ionization source. So we can screen samples, we can identify the focus areas, and then we can apply high resolution analysis and increase identification power. So an example here where the unknown is taken, we focus on it, we generate accurate mass data, and then we look in databases, we apply also positive chemical ionization, generate molecular ions with accurate masses, and we can get a much higher level of confidence for identification with the use of databases like EPA Comptox. So let's take a brief look at some other application areas that you might be interested in. PTX is brilliant with high quality data and deconvolution, so molasses aromas, complex sample is one really highlights the benefits of deconvolution here. And also separation detection of low level species. This is BTX 4D, so GC by GC separation power with great sensitivity to reveal important aroma notes that you might otherwise have missed. And again, in petrochemical and energy, pyrolysis gasolines, this is also a growing area. So again, GC by GC, just enhancing the separation here. So we've got the structured chemical classes and really powerful non-target characterization. And particularly in these samples, heteroatom species and understanding those is really important. So we're able to obtain really good separation, great quality mass spectra, and then we can have higher confidence in identification. Another example, in the environmental analysis sector, an important application. So in water, disinfection, using chlorination is really important, but what if an environmental factor then interferes with your drinking water and reactions occur? So for example, wildfires and the ash that comes from them, perhaps reactions occur, and then disinfection byproducts could be formed. And we need to understand those but of course we have to detect them. So the BTX, great non-target screening, highly sensitive analysis, great quality mass spectral data, allows deconvolution to work, isolate, hopefully trace DBPs, which we can then investigate. Pegasus BT is really effective in food safety. So non-target and target analysis simultaneously of pesticides and other residues, especially in complex samples. State clean iron source is vital here, running multiple matrix heavy samples. GC times GC separation power 
together with deconvolution, as well as the high sensitivity, allows low level species to be detected and separated from interferences. So we get a very, very, very good, robust, and highly sensitive analysis. And we generate cleaner mass spectra. So here you can see one deconvolution resolved, clean mass spectra, great library matches. And then we can isolate the masses, we can extract them, and we can use those for quantification with great linearity as well. Just finally, let's not forget some really leading applications on the Pegasus BT, because these are translated seamlessly to the new BTX. In food safety, leading solution, the solution for Mosh Moa mineral oil analysis. BTX 4D will provide excellent enhanced separation and detection capability with thermally modulated GC time reducing. So this is the only solution to isolate inter interferences and to confirm Mosh and Moa results accurately. Well, metabolomics is an area where the Pegasus BT has excelled will be further enhanced now for the BTX, the, the analysis or semi-target screening of volatiles and semi-volatiles. So complete workflow solutions in 1D and 2D, where we can combine non-target analysis, where we have the excellent data. We can combine non-target screening and target screening to see excellent wide dynamic range, excellent sensitivity, linearity, great mass spectral data, and whether you're looking at biological or plant metabolites, whatever your sample, this is a perfect instrument for volatiles and semi-volatiles. Let's not forget as well, hydrogen carrier gas. So the BT and the BTX now is industry leading in terms of GCMS performance for the use of hydrogen carrier gas. So method transfer from helium to hydrogen is effortless, increasing speed and throughput significantly, you can reduce costs and improve 1D and 2D workflows. And we're maintaining mass spectral performance between helium and hydrogen. Great sensitivity, dynamic range and precision is maintained, as is very importantly, EI fragmentation and library matching. And also not just in 1D and 2D as I mentioned, so we can translate methods and obtain great performance as we shift from helium to hydrogen carrier gas. Thank you very much for taking the time to hear about the applications and the BTX. And we'd love to hear from you. We would like to find out about your applications and your samples. And what are your challenges? How would you like to improve your workflow? And how Lico might be able to create a solution that helps you do just that. So please get in touch with your LECO sales representative. We'd really like to hear from you.